Hi, I'm Dave, and welcome to Carve Tools. My new 4.7 liter Jeep crate engine was just delivered, so I thought this short video might be helpful to others to see what you actually get when you buy a remanufactured engine. Hey, and be sure to subscribe to the Carve Tools channel to see my latest videos on the installation of this engine. In these, I will show you how to remove and install some parts of the engine without the need of any special tools. Okay, let's unpack this thing. Well, when removing the pod lid, the first thing I noticed was that the wood in the bottom of the pod has green and black mold growing on it. So I really want to get this crate out of the garage as soon as possible. Yep, it's got some serious nasty looking mold growing in the pod and I hope that the engine inside the bag is not the same way. The engine is secured in the shipping pod with a ratchet tie down strap and also here's a box that's got mold growing on it too and I think it probably contains the new gaskets. I cut the tie wrap off this bag here and wow, there it is. It's a nice looking engine. Yeah, it looks good. the engine from the pod I used my engine hoist and on another video I will show you the special bolts that I used that screwed into the cylinder heads for lifting. Okay I got the engine hoisted and I'm going to set it down on this stand that I built. These are the two wooden stands that I built and this taller one right here will hold the engine with an oil pan installed and this here with a shorter one works well for the engine with no oil pan. This is my old engine with the oil pan and pickup tube removed. And here's the new long block engine and it's ready to have all the other parts installed. And here's the box of gaskets and as I open it up you can see that this oil pan gasket is covered in rust. Well, no way am I going to use this in my new engine. So I went ahead and contacted the company that shipped this to me and I got the run around about submitting a warranty claim for this $40 part. So I don't have time for that. So I just went ahead and purchased a new Mopar oil pan gasket from my Jeep dealer. This bag contains gaskets for the intake manifold. It's got an oil filler tube gasket and it's got a crankshaft front seal. Now here's a water pump gasket. Uh, here's some valve cover gaskets and they look a bit flimsy. They're not like the factory gaskets. This is a special screen gasket for the intake manifold and the factory engines do not use this. It's uh, something about chunks of something may get sucked into the intake and of course you don't want that to happen so I will install it. And here's the exhaust manifold gaskets and these are not like the factory ones either but I think they'll be okay. This is a rusty time and chain cover gasket and the original engine does not use a form gasket like this but instead is assembled with Mopar Gray RTV gasket sealer at the factory. Okay, I'm not impressed with the quality of this gasket set that was sent, but um, in some of my other videos, I'll show you the difference, and so be sure to check those out. So, that's what came in the crate of my new engine. I hope this video has been helpful to you. Hey, be sure to check back here at Carve Tools and subscribe to see the latest videos of the installation of this engine. It's uh, actually, it was actually a pretty fun job. I'm Dave, this is Carve Tools. Have a great day.